Okay, let's talk shop. So I found this really cool plugin today called Obsidian Full Calendar. And it's definitely just another thing that shows me how powerful Obsidian can be and like how flexible Obsidian can be. So I'd love to kind of like show it off real quick. Obsidian Full Calendar. The thing is like with Obsidian apps, a lot of the, the community plugins don't get updated that frequently anymore. So you'll see like some that just haven't really been touched for a while um, but still work because the backwards compatibility of obsidian is just really insane um, and this is one of those so this one is a very well thought out app that hasn't been updated in a while but it seems to work pretty well so basically what you can do here is like you can come up with a calendar folder so let's say that we go in here and then we create a calendar folder we can call this like um mm, let's just call it calendar keep it simple and then we're gonna go into let's say that we we have like stream inside of here and then we can have like something else that happens on like this stream or things that happen within the stream calendar so maybe like like go live schedule so live and then be like wow and then like presentation so what you can do with these is that you can go into add calendar local and then you can go to like live and you can add this as a calendar and you can choose colors and stuff like that which is really cool too so now you can like go through to presentation for example you can change the color of it to like twitch purple or something like that you can add this calendar and then like we can add one more for wow which is a a spoiler that world of warcraft will be being played but in a pretty i think unique way so i'm, I'm excited i used to play wow a lot as a kid and i was kind of borderline addicted but the <laughs> way that i'm playing i'm planning on playing it on stream i think is pretty novel and interesting so uh more info on that coming soon but anyway so you can hit this open full calendar button oh i thought i did maybe i didn't read my settings hold on hold open full calendar Oh, damn it. <laughs> I guess that like runs in a knit function or something like that. That's great. So let's just add our local calendar again. And then let's say that this is for live and okay, cool. And let's add one more to for presentations just to show how that works again. So we're going to go through here. We're going to add presentation and we're going to change the color of it to purple. Neat. And then and we're going to add that. And basically it works functionally like any other calendar. So right now it's like 730. So we can say that we're going to be doing VSC stuff. And then we're going to save that. And then maybe we're going to talk about like uh, actually Obsidian presentation of discovery, save event. So now you can actually see these events, but you can also open, they, they created notes in these folders, which is super awesome. <laughs> so let's say that we want to go to VSC here and say that we want to say that the tasks that we need to get done. So like we have to do queue data, we have to set up a server, we have to do a telegram bot question mark or perhaps Perhaps just the server and then we can go into this obsidian presentation and one thing that i like doing is cal newport's conditional scheduling so if like if something isn't done then continue doing the thing that you're working on and if it is done then you can kind of work on the the thing that's in the block so it's like if not done with vsc then do the vsc else do this obsidian presentation of discovery i don't think i will get to the obsidian presentation of discovery today but i am planning on being live for a little bit it's only 7 30 so i think we can actually get a lot done i'm probably gonna lock in and, and do some code and really try and progress further 